Previously on my YouTube demonetization debacle, I explained that I was going to work on my next project on the line. And this current video is not the project. In a matter of fact, my project has taken over two months to make. Not because I've been lazy and procrastinating and postponing this video, it's because I almost virtually can't thanks to I buy Powers buffoonery. And yes, I understand there are other video projects that I've, you know, made that took longer than two months. However, though, I feel like with this certain project I'm working on, it shouldn't be two months. But at the same time, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I, I could get this done sooner, but because of I buy Power, it's fucking me over. I cannot fathom on how terrible an experience I've had with this company, or maybe in life in general. Those who have tuned into my live streams would probably understand the current struggles I've been having with this PC, and it affecting my entire live streams. And to think I was going to make a video praising I buy Power. Glad I never did. This all started in July of 2018. My PC that I had built myself was dying off. I have had it for a good, like, six years, I believe. I was planning on upgrading my entire PC in general because it had gotten to the point where I've been getting errors that I don't fully understand, or at least I didn't understand at the time. And also, I could sometimes be impatient. I wanted a more experienced person to do it. A professional. Because I don't trust myself. I had originally went with I buy power because I was told and explained how I can buy high-end specs for a cheaper price. And since I thought that was a pretty great deal, I decided to go with it. Once I decided to get the parts I needed, the total range was around $5,000. Plus tax nearing it to around $6,500. At the time, this was a really good deal compared to other PCs that were that were the same specs. I was really excited to finally have a brand new PC that could be more reliable than my previous PC I built. I by power explained to me that it would take around 13 to 15 business days. That didn't happen. That PC didn't get here until July 14th of 2019. What? What are you talking about? It somehow took I by power one fucking year. After the first two months, I've tried contacting them, getting zero responses. Eventually, I tried contacting them a third time, asking and then demanding for a refund. It wasn't until I was at VidCon 2019 is when I got a phone call from my mother that the PC finally arrived at my house. It arrived in a pretty big box. I took a photo of the PC once I opened it. Little did I know what was going to follow up in the coming years. July 15th was the day I decided to set up the PC. I took a few photos while setting it up. It was odd setting it up since the image looked pretty stretched on the monitor, but I managed to fix it. This image is an important one to remember. We'll get back to that later. July 17th came around the corner. At this time, I had pretty much transferred all my files from my C drive onto this new computer. I was finally going to play some Minecraft on Scotia's new modded SMP called the modern. I had loaded up Minecraft, was about to hit play, and it crashed. This was odd, and this happened every single time. I updated the drivers, told what my friends suggested, and then shit like this kept happening. And it got to the point where the entire monitor was pixelated. This isn't a low res image. This is literally what the monitor looked like. All pixelated. Just like my old 2017 live streams. I later found out that the graphics card was dead. Yep. They sent me a dead graphics card. Luckily, I had a warranty on the PC for three years, so I had emailed them about the situation. And of course, no fucking responses. Because why would they? So basically, what that meant was that the dead graphics card that was in here, I ordered a 2080. So this dead ass graphics card that I buy power gave me, I, I fucking, I had to go to NVIDIA. I had to order a new graphics card from them. 
Once I got the new graphics card, I then decided to put the new graphics card in, in, into, into my computer and then decided, oh, you know what, since it's a new graphics card, I have the original box. I decided to send the broken one back to NVIDIA and reported it being, like, oh, damaged. And then I got my money back, so that the fucking, that's poggers. So basically, at the end of the day, I had to go to NVIDIA and order another 2080 Ti. Once I had replaced the dead 2080 Ti with my new 2080 Ti, I had to ship the dead one back to NVIDIA, and I got my money back. But God, it doesn't end there. God, I wish. This small issue probably wasn't I by Power's fault here, but every random time, the PC would randomly shut off. I had to go through three different interruptible power supplies to actually find one that can do its fucking job. And even then, I don't even know if it's reliable. The ones I currently have, I cannot tell. But when I plug it, when I when I plug in these un uninterruptible power supplies onto a different machine, I never get this weird shut off. Only with I buy power. It's been literally one good year. No, it hasn't. <laughs> Remember the image I told you would be important later. That's not coming from outside, by the way. That's coming from in literally that weird noise. It's coming from here. Where? I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> uh, somewhere in here. Well, apparently, what I didn't know at the time was that I, by power, inserted the CPU fan incorrectly, causing the CPU fan to break, leading the CPU to overheat. I have no idea if the motherboard is partially fried because of this. Because of this, the CPU would overheat and would cause the machine to actually shut down, having nothing to do with the uninterruptible power supply that I had mentioned earlier. That meant that all my online classes during the time, because we were in a pandemic, it was frustrating to tell my teachers about this. Recording, live streaming, editing, and talking with friends was almost impossible. I have no idea what the hell is wrong with this little shit, alright? I power it on, alright? Everything turns on like normal, okay? But nothing actually decides to turn. On. Ooh, I got a hiccup there, sorry. But nothing decides to actually turn on, right? Nothing. Nothing at all. Why? I... I... I don't know. Nothing's turned on yet and everything's plugged in. This PC. Oh. Now, uh, 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 bruh, you were up. Well, whatever it is, it's not turning on any of those monitors, so. Oh boy, let's see what happens. Will it actually do something? Or will it not? We'll find out. I never thought it'd take this long to fucking boot up a PC, bro. Like, bro, you have like what a 2080 Ti in there? It takes you this long to boot up? What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. All right then. Oh, oh. bitch. What this? Oh my god! It has said something new this time. Has been put in safe mode. Ah! Hello, my fellow teachers. I'm sending this off as a video to let you guys know that I may not be able to make it to school today. As you can see, my PC has been turned on. I had to restart it multiple times, but every time I start up my computer, you know, I get this one specific error. Now, I've tr I've left the computer off for about five minutes. 
maybe possibly more. And every time I turn it back on, I get the same message. Now, this is just the opening thing, you know, when it opens. It, there it is. Okay. This is the error message I get. How my CPU had overheated. And I can't do anything about it. Unless I wait who knows how long for it to actually freaking become unheated. So I don't know what else to do here. This is frustrating. I can't see half the shit I type! Huh. Alright then. The PC has been on for 36 minutes. And it's making some weird noises. Like what? Where is that weird buzzing noise coming from? Bruh. It's 84 degrees Celsius? How? It's been on for 30 minutes! 30 mi- I decided to at least, just for the fucks of it, email iBuyPower. And guess what? To my surprise, they actually responded. The first time within the year I've had it that they finally responded to me. They explained how they were aware of our three-year warranty and having us pay $750 to replace the CPU fan and proceeded to send us alternatives which is basically was Amazon links. So I got pissed off and took it into Best Buy and only paid $78 to get it replaced. Apparently I was right, the CPU fan was fucking broken and so Best Buy replaced it with a Corsair. Somehow, Best Buy managed to do a better performance and communication as a whole compared to iBuyPower. Which is ironic in multiple ways. At this point, every time I did anything, my entire PC would freeze for 30 seconds or more and then go back to normal. This has happened since as far as I can rem remember to June but it really got severe up until now, which is what made me so fed up about this. I have zero clue why this happens. I tried contacting iBuyPower because fuck you, I'm doing the definition of insanity, and of course, no response. I've tried restarting and or leaving the PC off for a day or two, and it worked! Until July 11th when it didn't work. Every time I would restart or turn off my computer, the moment it's back on, it would randomly freeze for like 30 seconds or more. There's no time frame on when my PC freezes. It literally randomly happens. And when it does, it lasts for seconds or more. At this point, it's lasting for like 50 seconds. As of recording this video, that's how fucking severe this shit's getting. People, my viewers that join my live streams have seen this. And this is the last straw. I have had enough with I buy power. So I decided to shit on them. My audience and I. I mean, hell, even the footage that you're seeing right now that's sped up. This is footage that's been taken earlier this year of 2020. But it's gotten far worse as the months and days go on. So, like, it happens so frequently that while I was editing this video... It has happened so many times. My editing software has crashed more often than not. It my everything with this computer has been fucking killing itself for who knows how long. I started this video project around 8 
It's two in the morning now. Actually, wait, I take that back. I looked back. I started this at seven. Seven p.m. And it's two in the morning. Ugh. Like, how? I started this project. No, I, I didn't start it, like, from beginning to end at two, in, like, at, like, seven in the morning. I quit halfway through because of how shit this PC has gotten, so I gave up. And then I went back into editing this to see if I could still maintain it. And it's still garbage and pisses me off here. Because of how many times it has crashed, loading, having that shit eye by power moment. People that watch my stream would know this. Literally. You see, at the time, I never understood how anyone could have defended this shit of a PC company. Until I realized those who have had iBuy Power have had it for less than a year. And very rarely did I realize that very few have had an iBuy Power for more than two years or a decade. <laughs> People telling me that my PC has problems when I already knew that from the fucking start. Throughout the three years I've owned this PC, it only technically worked for one year. I buy power PCs managed to work excellent in the short term, but not in the long term. And no, two years isn't a long term. If the norm of PCs is to have a lifespan of two to three years, there's probably something wrong with you and the company. Maybe I got unlucky with this whole bullshit event, which wouldn't be hard to believe, but I wouldn't doubt it. But holy shit, I've learned to never buy from them. You cannot buy power from I buy power. Luckily, I was able to man up and purchase myself another computer with, yes, high specs. And no, I didn't buy another I buy power. I bought it from a different company called Origin PC. They had seemed to get a good reputation, and I know PewDiePie owns an Origin PC. So let's see how this journey with Origin PC goes. As of currently recording and editing this, I'm still on my iBuy Power machine. I already paid for the PC, and it said it's going to be shipped over here. Matter of fact, as of recording this, it said it's going to be shipped here tomorrow. And today is tomorrow, since it's 2 in the fucking morning. <laughs> and it wasn't cheap either. Now, I was originally going to unbox or do an unboxing video of the iBuy Power machine, since getting a new computer in the past was a hassle, leading me to stay at a Best Buy for two hours. It was crazy. But fuck I buy power. Instead, I'll do an unboxing with Origin PC. Alrighty. Oh dang. I buy power needs to step up their game. Well, this is a ten thousand dollar machine. Ooh, it came with a custom little phone letter. Packing list. That's a lot of stuff it came with. A lot of free accessories. I buy power. Take some notes. Okay, these are your cords. Not exactly sure <laughs> what that's all about. Are those just like extra components? Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. So this is the top. It's two HDMI cables. No, no, it has one HDMI and three display ports. Got a Type C right there. I send you a, like a keyboard and a mouse, huh? No, I don't, nah. Okay. I'm, I know, I that was an option, and I made sure they didn't send me one. Oh, okay. Because I did, I was afraid it was going to be like the I buy power keyboard and mouse. Like, oh yeah, those, right. Yeah. Like worthless. Yeah. Dang, that's a big graphics card. Dang. It's gigantic. Wow, the, uh, what's it called? The RAM even glows up. What? Mm-hmm. Look the glow RAM. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> so doing this power on self-test. Yeah. I didn't record too much of the entire unboxing ex experience type beats, but, uh, I know there were a few recordings in there, but, like, you know, we just started to set up, then we transferred all the stuff from one computer to a different computer, which is... For a different video later on, I swear to fucking god, it's... You'll understand why. It'll be a completely different video later on. But, nevertheless, we are finally able to set it up as my primary computer. 
Alrighty guys, so after having one stressful amount of time with Z install, worst fucking software, I managed to get this computer out and replace it with this bad boy. Everything down there is already unplugged. Cable management is shit because I had to unzip tie a shit ton of stuff just so I can unplug everything off of this bad boy, which by the way, did I ever do, do a size comparison with this? No? But like, Jesus. Anyway. Anyways, so there used to be a stand right there, uh, which I believe we are, it's right there. We're going to dust it off and primarily we're going to see if um, this can come off. There's a little spider down there. Look at him go. Yeah, you know, he was on, he was underneath your, this shelf thing. Oh, we'll put this up on the desk right next to this guy. Why aren't you a mess of another sort? This is the one that I built a while ago years ago it's a good graphics card it's a 2080 ti as well it just doesn't work anymore it doesn't work properly oh you guys can barely see that but it's like right there okay then yeah same thing with this guy as well except he except this time the entire pc has a whole load of fucking troubles and shits that i've mentioned anyways i might put it up there i'm gonna do that actually actually isn't that bad of an idea lighting may look bad but i Generally, don't care. <laughs> okay, that fits. There we go, right next to this bad boy. Looks interesting. We stumbled a bit of a problem here. We cracked up the PC, but. There's air vents at the bottom, and as you guys can see, it doesn't fit. Now, um, I completely forgot to explain that uh, I was gonna head over to my grandparents' house and we were gonna cut a piece of plywood up. It's kinda weird that the birds haven't eaten the bird seed yet. That's odd. Are they flew south for the winter or what? <laughs> yeah, I still have the crate. I wanted to make absolutely sure everything's cool before I get rid of it. Gotcha. Hey, actually, I could use a piece of that. True, actually. I mean, it, it's it's sat smoothly on the uh, the PC on the bottom, so we just take the bottom crate of it. Two of them together would be perfect, except I had other plans for that. Oh. Yeah, see, I'd have to I'd have to cut it because it's way too big. Yeah. But like cut that. a piece out. Huh. That would work. I like the origin print on it. Well, I'll save that then. Okay. Oh, you know what? I could use this. That way I wouldn't even have to cut that. Oh. This, this would work fine. Oh, yeah. You do a little bit of some trimming. Oh, yeah. That's definitely long enough. Okay. All right. I'll use this instead. Okay. We'll now. save that for later. <laughs> I might use that crate whenever I move out, if that ever happens, of course. <laughs> that's what, the way you mark, by the way. So that's going to be ten and a half inches, and then this needs to be about 21. But I don't see any reason why I can't just leave it a little bit too extra long, do you? I don't see any reason, right? Okay. It's good to have a bit longer than a little bit shorter, I suppose. Isn't that right? Okay, so that's the one I'm going to keep. This is the one I'm not going to keep. That's the way carpenters do it. They put an X on a part that it's not going to be kept. So you know what the good piece is. This used to be Whiskers, a, a little home before it got infested with cobwebs. Does this already? No. Whiskers, a little home. Oh. Well, okay then. They were showing, sometimes I watch those programs at the zoo, yeah. and they were showing um, how they feed this uh, huge python. It's like a 20 some odd foot python. And uh, I forget what they feed it. They feed it like a frozen goat or something. Huh. But they have to, they have to, uh, they br bring him out between these two heated rocks, uh -huh. and he's got to wait until his body temperature gets up to like 80 degrees or whatever. That's if, otherwise, they're too sluggish. They're too cold to actually do anything. That's kind of bizarre. So they have to wait like an hour or so until he warms up, 
to the point where he's active enough to actually eat his, his food. Uh, uh, wow, okay. <laughs> so, if a snake's cold, it will be very sluggish. Yes. Wow. It That's won't, what I'm trying to say. And it won't kill me. That's nice. Exactamundo. So you'll notice this has much finer teeth yeah. than that one, so it should make a, 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 ne a neater cut. I see. pressure on the blade so it doesn't turn when you turn the nut. Huh. Has that ever happened before? Oh yeah. Oh. There we go. Nice. Should be tight enough. I'll slide this back yeah. in here. Dang. And I, I sliced oh. part of the stand. Oh no. Yeah, oh well. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god, I can smell the chip dust or whatever it is. And is it okay to breathe that stuff in? I assume not. I don't know. Probably oh. won't kill you right away. <laughs> Oh, I didn't go all the way. Hold on. Interesting. We got the plywood and some food. Ah. Yeah, that's right. I took a shot of the snakes. Three, two, ew. Three, two, and one. Did you plug oh, it? Oh, I. You didn't plug the power, did you? <laughs> no, I just. <laughs> I forgot to turn on the switch. Oh, but is it plugged in? Yeah, because the lights are on now. Oh, okay. Three, two, and one. Ooh. <laughs> that looks nice right there. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess okay. I should probably monitor Alrighty. So now this monitor can't. Oh, no. Is that my primary one? Oh, that's my primary one, isn't it? You can change it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna change it. 346 minutes later. Here it is, the I buy power. This is the guy. This is my previous PC right here, right next to it. Oh, it's kind of weird lighting. But yeah, here it all is. There it is. <laughs> Hopefully, this time, the computer will not die on me. I'm praying to God. Hopefully, this journey with Origin PC will be a far much better experience than with iBuyPower. Only time can tell. I paid $10,000 for this computer, plus tax, reaching it to 11000 This better be fucking worth it. Wait, did I, did, did, did I get that math correct? I'll find out in the video. Anyways, so yeah. It's, it was intense trying to get this PC. It's hard to say goodbye to the iBuyPower over there, but it had to be done. But hey, at least I can now edit with this one and see how it goes, compare and contrast. <laughs> Will I miss I buy power? Maybe a little bit, but we'll find out. <laughs> I'll probably try and do a test live stream tonight and see how that goes. Um, I'm really interested to see how things pan out. But yeah, look at this guy. Like, look at this guy. Fucking hell. I'm naming, this, I'm naming this computer Disco. I know people like are weird and name their PCs. Well. I'm naming this motherfucker Disco. <laughs> the frame rate on my camera is making that flicker. 3090 in there. Jesus Christ. I like the little subtle origin down there. That's great. You know, I, I can't. I, you know, this is amazing. I gotta tweet to, I gotta tweet at them for this. All right. Well, that's the end of that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This time, hopefully, this will last longer than iFi Power. I'm nervous to use it because of how expensive and good it looks. Like... <laughs> It's fucking crazy. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys later. Peace. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I had a really weird hassle of a time with iBuyPower. We'll see how this computer goes, like I said. Thank you guys for watching to the end. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.